Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jan Dyer. Tonight we're having chicken. Who doesn't like an extra chicken recipe? Okay, this recipe actually says to do it in the grill or on the grill. We don't start our grill very often. Easier to do it in the oven, raining here in Arkansas. So anyway, oven is gonna work perfectly fine. Let me tell you, these are just pretty large chicken breasts. This recipe calls for four. I cut these in half, kind of, I guess it's butterfly them. Um, and last time I did it, I did the very same thing and we had two meals off of it. So that's what I did, same thing today, because that gives you more surface on your chicken to get more flavor, because really and truly chicken doesn't have tons of flavor. I trimmed these up pretty tight. I didn't want to have any fat or anything on them. They are the boneless, skinless. That's just what I buy. And I'm just going to show you how to put it together. We're going to put it in the oven, let it cook, and then we'll come back at the very end. I'm going to take a little time to put some cheese in it, just about five minutes before we come back. It's delicious, and I'm going to serve it over rice. So let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and spray. Remind me to wash this off because I've already touched my chicken and I just touched my Pam. Yeah, Pam. <laughs> that didn't sound right. All right, so that has to be sanitized. Nicholas, BJ, aren't you proud of me? Okay, take my chicken. Let me get both of these ready because if I don't, same thing will happen to my other containers. I thought about getting this ready before y'all got here, but then that would take the fun out of doing it together. I had already sprayed that one. Okay. Get this out of the way. You know, I'm just not, I'm not super good with the chicken because I just seem to touch things I shouldn't touch after I've touched the chicken. So let me take my gloves off. These will have been touched, but that's what we have to do. Okay. Again, I've opened up the butter, the breast just to make it nice and big kind of cute looks like a little heart in here I have half a teaspoon of paprika I have half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper so I'm just going to season each one of these this really has so much flavor and I'm going to show you the rice I'm going to do too because um, I've actually already got it done but I'll tell you about it one thing about rice it sometimes takes a while ideally I guess you could have flipped it over and done that on the other side too you don't have to you're gonna have plenty of flavor here okay then we're going to take all these beautiful ingredients here we have black beans which do need to be rinsed and drained we have some uh, Rotel tomatoes. Drain those. Again, you can go as spicy as you want to with these, as mild as you want to. And I believe these are just the regular original. We're going to, we have um, corn that we have drained and then just a pepper, any color that you've got in the fridge. I just happen to have a yellow one. So you're gonna take this, sprinkle it liberally over because we're actually doing just these two breasts and the recipe calls for four I'm going to use probably the majority of it and we do this one we really did um, I used the very same thing the last time we did it I did it just like this we ate one meal off of it warmed it up and had it another night so however big your family is however you need to do it Perfect. We're going to do our corn the same way. The one thing I thought about this too, um, it's Santa Fe, and I guess that's the flavoring and all the different things, but it is so beautiful, so colorful. And it's a meal in one, little packet. But like I said, it, it does, the recipe does call for cooking it on the grill but this is gonna be perfectly fine. This is exactly how we did it last time, and it was delicious. 
I'm always so excited when I find a really good chicken recipe that is so filling and flavorful and easy. See, I mean, this is just a whole meal. It'll cook down when they warm up in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 375. And because these breasts are so thick, I'm actually going to cook them for about 30 to 35 minutes. And now we're just going to put on our peppers. We're not going to worry about seasoning these vegetables. You know, if you get, these were canned vegetables. They've already got some flavor in them, some salt. And we're also going to put cheese on top of it. Isn't that pretty? Now just imagine this. When it comes out, we're going to we're going to put cheese on it. 30 minutes. Um, when we come back, you'll see that part of it. We're just going to layer the top with a little bit of... You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and put some jalapenos on it now. I think I'll do that. And then I'll have a few to put on the top. I'm pretty sure I did that last time. I like those peppers to have a chance to cook because I like a good jalapeno. I've got some more. If we decide we need it. I will slice those while we aren't together. Yeah, that looks good. Anyway, we've got cilantro to go on it at the end also. So all you do, take your packet, bring it together. We're going to seal it up. I'm going to put it on a sheet pan because all those juices are going to warm up, heat up, and it's going to cause, well, it'll cause a mess in my oven. I think I've got a little bit of it, a mess in the bottom of my oven right now. I don't know what that's from. But I can make a mess pretty quick. Okay, that's all we've done. Wrap it up nice and tight. Put it on a cookie sheet. 375. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. And I will see you back here just about that time. And we will look and see what delicious Santa Fe chicken we are having for dinner this evening. This house smells fabulous. I peeked at this because I had to put some cheese on it. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look wonderful? Now that is a lot of food. And remember all the vegetables that are down underneath the cheese. And listen, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it sit for a minute while I talk to y'all before I try to move it because it is really hot. And remember, when I open this up to put the cheese on top, steam can burn you more quickly than a fire. So be very, very careful. Okay, we're having this. Let me go over it real quick with you while it's cooling down. And then I'll tell you about our rice. Because that's all I'm doing is serving it over some cilantro lime rice and um, this would have been a recipe for four chicken breasts this was too large that I you saw I sliced them laid them open we'll cut them and make you know two meals um, we had seasoning the only seasoning we used was half a teaspoon of chili powder and then we used salt and pepper to taste and I think I used a fourth of each salt and a fourth of pepper you know, we made it, last time I made it, it seemed a little bit uh, salty, so I really wanted to rain that back because I know my cheese is salty. And again, those canned vegetables can tend to be a little salty. The vegetables were a 15 ounce can of the black beans that we had to drain and rinse. That's the only one that we rinse. Two cups of uh, whole kernel corn, I just used a can. A cup of diced bell peppers, whichever color you've got. I had a yellow. 10 ounces of Rotel. Again, any spice level you want. Um, this is just a um, Fiesta style cheese. Lots of times I grate my own, but I just bought this because I thought, well, sounds delicious. 
Cook that in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes. Then I opened it up, put cheese on it, a few more jalapenos on it. Five minutes later, this is what it looks like. Okay, the rice that I've got is just a simple cilantro lime rice. And you'll take whatever rice you like to use. What I had in the cabinet was a long grain rice. So I put a little bit of oil in my stewer, put my uh, cup of rice in it, cup and a half of rice. Let it kind of brown up a little bit, you know, how it gets a little flavor. At that point, I put in three cups of water and this recipe actually called for chicken broth. I didn't have chicken broth, so I put a couple of chicken bouillon cubes in it. Perfectly fine. Uh, again, it's called for a pinch of salt. I opted not to. Things just seem saltier to me. Okay, the lime part, I zested a lemon and I zested a lime. Put that in. I used a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of lime juice and then um, quite a bit of cilantro. It called for a cup. I'm not putting a cup of cilantro in there. But anyway, so that is our cilantro lime rice, which is what I've got here on the plate. And let me take one of these. Just know that we're gonna slice them, but I, for presentation's sake, I'm gonna set the whole thing over here. You'll see. Wouldn't that be impressive for your family? Isn't that delicious? And if you wanted to, you could pour those juices on here. But anyway, that's it. Santa Fe chicken cooked in a foil packet. Look how easy my cleanup's gonna be. Do it outside if you want to, whichever works best for you. But I promise you it's gonna be delicious. It's certainly flavorful. Uh, we loved it the last time I made it and I hope you'll love it too. We're just going to take a little bit of cilantro and some freshly sliced tomatoes just to give it a little pop of freshness and that is what we're going to have for dinner tonight isn't that pretty and it's going to be delicious so i will work on some more recipes for us i've got a new one that's delicious i think i'll have to do that next time it's a strawberry bread i've made it a couple times for my office they rave, and what's been so fun is I've only used strawberries out of my garden, and it took three cups for each one, so I've had a really good uh, garden this year. Anyway, Santa Fe chicken cooked in a full packet. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, and we'll get together again real soon.